Howdy! I'm Cyberox with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we got something completely different. I don't think most of you are gonna like it, but it's coming your way because I don't really have a choice anymore. So I'm uh, I'm Cyberox, you know me, and I'm coming to you face to face today, so you can see that I'm a human, and I have emotions, and I cry like any other human and I have feelers like any other human and I bleed like any other human I assume you don't need me to show you that I bleed um, and you can just trust me on that um, I'm not sure you will after the end of this so there's a cancer in Minecraft community that needs to be addressed. I've put this video off for four plus years and it's come to a head over the last few days and honestly I'm just fed up with the cultists and the Minecraft community and the bigots and the um, the you don't belong here people. If you don't make what we think belongs in Minecraft the number one game all time worldwide everywhere in the world billion plus people play it but only what the cultists think is allowed in minecraft and if you do something that they don't like then they're gonna say something like that's cursed and you might think oh that's no big deal Sam Rex. except if you did that at school during show and tell, or you did that at work, or you did that in most other environments, you'd get your ass kicked out of you. Um, you'd get called a bigot. You'd get called hateful. Um, if you went to a, a art show and somebody's making art and you walk up and says, that's cursed. I hate it. Stop doing that. You don't belong here. Get out um that's what i get told over and over and over day after day after day just because i'm doing what i love to do i'm not forcing my content on anyone else they don't have to play my content i'm not posting my content in their areas I'm putting my content in my areas and my showcases, but the cultists and the mob, every post, all the time, for four years, come over to where I'm at and re must, they must tell me how horrible my content is and how much they dislike it. And always in the background is this, you don't belong here, and what you do doesn't belong in Minecraft. And they'll tell you that if you just ask them a few questions and dig a little. It starts as, that's cursed. But in reality, what they're trying to tell you is, you don't belong here. That your kind is not allowed here. Now, think about in Star Trek, or sorry, Star Wars, when they go into the cantina and the bartender says, your kind aren't allowed here. Get out! We don't serve them kind here. Was your emotional feeling that, yeah, that's cool, that's funny, oh, a curse, ha ha, yeah, get those droids out of there, they don't belong here, that's, that's good, yeah. Or was your, your feeling, wow, that's a bigot, that's hateful. Your kind, your group of people that do HD or polymesh or oh, more than 128X ah! um, or AI, that's the big one now. Oh, I can't have AI. No, my head, you're ruining Minecraft. I'm not ruining your Minecraft. I'm ruining my Minecraft, my sandbox. 
Minecraft is a sandbox game that I take and I make it however the fuck I want to. You coming into my sandbox and kicking my sandcastle and telling me it's cursed and trashed and I should get the fuck out of the sandbox because I'm not allowed in a sandbox is bigotry. It's hate. You are being hateful and a bigot if you are commenting on people's posts over and over and over that that content is cursed. This doesn't happen in other any other game industry. It's not happening in Unreal Engine 5. I went over there for eight months. I left Minecraft because of you hateful bigots. I left Minecraft development after two years because I was getting somewhere between an average of five of these comments a day. Most of them escalating to just kill yourself. Because I'm making HD in Minecraft, I should kill myself. That is the cultist that you're part of if you're going out there and saying that's cursed because it doesn't fit what I think should be in Minecraft. Who are you to tell a billion people what should be in Minecraft? Who are you? I'll, I'll wait. You can put in the comments. Tell me who you are to tell me what I should put in my game. And why do you have the balls to go around other people's content, creative art content, and tell them that? Like, what mental health issues do you have that you think it's acceptable to go around to other people and tell them that? Would you do that anywhere in society? Would you go to your neighbor that's painting outside and tell them, oh, that painting is trash. That's junk. No. They would kick your ass. Would you go to your sister who's drawing a pretty picture for Mama for Mother's Day and tell your sister that that's junk? No. Because your dad would kick your ass. Because it's hateful. It's wrong. It's against the rules of every discord I've been in, but yet is allowed. Why? Because most of the mods agree. They're part of the cult. They don't think this stuff should be in Minecraft either because they grew up in Minecraft. But here's the secret. Most of the population didn't grow up in Minecraft. We grew up before Minecraft. And you know what we had before Minecraft in the 80s and 90s? Required pixel art. That's all it was, was pixel art. So when I was a kid, all we had the choice of was pixel art. And I dreamed of growing up and having HD in my game. And so when I grew up, and I started to make video games, and I found Bedrock was a really great platform, to use as an engine to put the things in my brain and my dreams that I could play with in a game and share with my friends, all of a sudden, the cultists show up and start hating me. I, and at first, four years ago, I thought, huh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. I'm a Christian that uses cannabis for medicine and I see lots of hate. I've lost most of my family members and my friends and my church because I use cannabis. And most of those people are pretty hateful for cannabis. So I know what hate is pretty clearly. I see it a lot in my life. And uh, I did not expect as a game developer to come into the industry, start making fun things for my friends and myself, and get 20 to 40 hateful comments saying I should kill myself and just quit and give up and what the fuck am I doing? Every week. For two years. Two of them.
day after day after day. And that wasn't just it. There's also Java versus Bedrock hate. The Java people hate Bedrock, and they will tell you about it because they're the biggest cultists. And then there's the, if you sell your add-on, all oh, the Java people hate you selling add-ons. You can't make any money in Minecraft. You are evil, and they will tell you that to your face. In their words, they will get on voice chat and tell you, you are bad. Bad. And what they're saying is, get the fuck out! You're not welcome here. Your kind, your group of people, HD, AI, Bedrock, Bridge users, are not welcome here. If you don't use VS and do JavaScript and bend over and take it from Mojang, you're not welcome here. If you say anything else, the cultist mob is going to rush in and make sure you never say it again or post again or are feel welcome again. So most of us that do HD or anything other than what the mob wants are scared to death to post anything in these communities because of you, the mob, the cultists that don't seem to have empathy or a soul or the ability to shut the fuck up. If you don't have anything nice, don't say it at all seems to be completely missing from the Minecraft community. Where did that go? You don't have the ability to not tell your sister that her art is shit. You don't have the ability to only post in your channels and the channels that are related to the art you like. You obviously have a bias. And yet you're taking that bias and spreading it to everybody else in the community. It's toxic cancer. It's not an Unreal Engine. It's not in Unity. It's not in AA games. It's not in indie games. It's in no other development place I can see other than the original Linux versus Windows conversation from 30 years ago that has already died and been proven that free freemium and Linux, it has to all be free, like the Java people are saying, doesn't work. Red Hat is owned by IBM. They're the ones that made Linux functional. Android is owned by Google and Microsoft. They're the ones that made it functional. Samsung. You, it doesn't work. And yet, daily, we still get people coming to us saying, you can't charge money for an add-on. That's horrible. You're evil. Get out. Marketplace. We get Marketplace hate from the Java community still to this day, five years after Marketplace was released. It's done billions of sales and made hundreds of millions of happy, entertained customers, but the Java community still badmouths you if you're a developer in Marketplace. That is hate and bigotry towards a group of people just trying to survive just trying to eat and have money to pay the fucking bills and sell their content for six fucking dollars six dollars i get hate from the java community because i would like to eat once in a while are you fucking kidding me but this is the non-stop for four years that I've gotten from this community. It's a cancer. And until somebody stands up and says, shut the fuck up and go sit down, this is not acceptable in the community, it's not going to stop. So eight months, I left the community completely. I left it all. I was so tired. I was so mentally beat up. It's... I, why do you want to get up and get out of bed every day and come do this if douchebags are going to come in and just badmouth you and curse you and tell you to kill yourself and quit and go away and that's junk every day. So eight months, I left, I went to Unreal Engine and I saw, holy cow, this doesn't exist anywhere else except in the Minecraft community. Well, that seems kind of odd, doesn't it? It seems kind of weird that 
there's such a difference between the two communities. So when I came back to the community, I promised myself that I was no longer going to stand for this bigotry and cultist. You say curse stuff to me in my content. You call my stuff trash. You tell me to kill myself. I'm going to call you out. I don't care. I'm going to call you out for what you are. Hateful and a bigot. You see? You see my emotion. You see my feelings. You see that I'm a normal human being that just fed up with this cancer in the community. Uh, if your goal is to get everybody that does anything different than what you do to leave, you've done a great job. And that is the only thing that I can come up with that you would go to someone else's content, art creative content, in a showcase or a safe place or their YouTube channels, and for four years downgrade their content. Why would you go to a, a, a channel that does HD and downvote their content when you're biased and don't like or play HD content. That's an obsession. Only an obsessed person would spend the valuable time of their day to go to someone else's art creation to downvote it. Think about that. Have you done that? Stuff that you would never play Stuff you know you're biased against, and yet you would go make a comment on that content that you would never play. Did you even watch the content? Did you try out the content if available? I bet not. I bet you saw HD in the name and a thumbnail, and you thought, that doesn't, de de that doesn't belong in Minecraft, and I'm going to tell that person so they stop doing it. What is telling a group of people you're not welcome here or leave or get out or we don't serve your kind called? Pure and simple bigotry. Hate towards a group of people because you don't like them or what they do as art. Of all the things in the world going on right now, I'd really like you to think about Really? That's who you are? That's who you want to be? You want to come to my content regularly and tell me that I shouldn't be here. Tell me that to my face. Tell me that to my face. That Pay Cyberax, Jeremy Benesek, you and your art, whether HD or AI, don't belong in the Minecraft community. We don't want you here. We don't think that this type of content, if it's not pixel art and, I don't know, vault, voxel, doesn't belong here. It's not the style that we like. It's not the style we want. And so if it's not the style we want or that we like, you don't belong here. And we're going to tell you that. We're not going to just go on our own way and do our own thing and make our own content. We're going to come to your content regularly and we're going to tell you that that's cursed. You're cursed for making it. It doesn't belong here and you're not welcome here. That's some fucked up shit. How many times have you done that to someone? Maybe you should go apologize to them. Maybe you should stop for a second and think about how that makes them feel. I don't even want to go to my own showcases because of you guys. I don't want to show up and show AI content. Only two people in the BAO server have ever shown AI content. The admins that had 3,000 posts, 30% against adamantly, and me, who had 400 posts. Just me. Just 
And then when I call people out because I've pleaded with you to stop doing this, I've pleaded with you to stop harassing me. I left BAO server completely for a year. And the day I get back, I get hateful comments. The day I report them to mods, they warn the user, and the user keeps doing it. He comes to my personal YouTube channel and spreads his hate. My personal YouTube channel to spread his comments of hate. You don't belong here. And then it keeps happening. And I report it again. What other options do I have other than leave or take your abuse every day? Should I have to, because I do HD or AI, be abused and harassed by the community? Is that a healthy ecosystem? Is it moral or ethical? It's art in a video game that I'm getting hate for. For four years. Constantly. And yet, when I say something... The majority of the community says, huh, you're just targeting people. Wait, me defending myself and saying, stop coming to my channels is targeting people, but them coming to my channels for four fucking years, day after day after day as a cultist, isn't? What the fuck are you doing? Who do you think you are? I deserve to be in this community just as much as you fucking do. So for you to go out and tell someone they don't belong here to curse their content in any art community makes you not only a hateful bigot, but a scumbag. Yeah, you are a scumbag if you have this problem. You're part of a cult that believes that only what you approve and have an opinion on, and an emotional opinion too. Um, I'm emotional because I'm getting hate from the community and I just want to create things. So yeah, I'm really emotional after four fucking years about this. I am fed up with you little bastards coming to my channels and coming to my content and coming to my stuff and showing this hate. And I say, please don't do it. I plead. I plead. Please. I put in my post, in my showcase, if you don't like HD and you don't like my content, please, for the love of God, don't comment. I block them, and they still comment. And the problem is, they comment first. So Everybody that comes and sees my content now sees this is junk. How many people are going to watch a video or watch what I just created with my passions and my love and wanting to do this if the first comment is always this is junk or this is trash or I hate this or whatever hateful comment they have that day? How many? How am I supposed to get a fair opportunity to show my content in a showcase if this is allowed over and over and over. It happens in my dev resources post. I post a tool and my tool gets commented on like this. And I plead with them, please stop doing it. It's not the place for it. It's inappropriate. It's hateful. It's bigotry. Stop. And they're allowed to keep doing it. And the community, the cultists, jump behind them and say, oh, Yay! Get them out of here! We don't want them here! It's okay to say curses and hateful things because everybody does it. It's cute! Ha <laughs> ha! I said a curse thing to Cyberax! Ha <laughs> ha! Who the fuck are you? And why do you think that's okay? Because other little eight-year-olds do it? You as a 20-year-old adult still 
to this day thinks that that's acceptable, do it at work. Go to your public professional work environment. Go into someone doing some art and say, that's cursed. Get the fuck out. See how long you keep that job. See how long those people don't think it's hate for bigotry. But in Minecraft game development for indies, where we have first-time creators showing up every day, it's okay to go to their content and say it's cursed? What? Who are you people? What? Are you kidding me? What? It's not even logical. It's not even... It, there's no empathy at all. You, you... It's hard to think you have a heart if you could go to your sister's content and tell her, or someone else's sister's content and tell them that it's cursed because it's in Minecraft and it doesn't fit your idea of what belongs in Minecraft. What? It's offensive to me as just a human. It's offensive to me as an artist. It's offensive to me as a developer to see this constantly continue to happen, be supported by the mods, be allowed in the community, and the mob is allowed to rule the servers. And if you say something, God forbid you post anything about AI because, oh, people are going to lose their jobs and everybody's worried about AI, so we're going to make you punish. We're going to make you suffer. If you post AI, you're going down, because you need to get out of here! Really? Like, what the fuck? I've been to religious places that weren't as much of a cult as the Minecraft community is. You don't see videos about it, because everybody is scared to call you out. Everybody in the community is scared of the Minecraft players in Java and Bedrock. Because when we say something and say, whoa, that's offensive. That's not healthy. That's not a good ecosystem for creators. You show up in a mob and destroy us. Is that, that seem healthy? Does a mob rule seem like a great idea for an indie server or creative environment? Hey, if the mob wants it! So, I've had to make my own server, move my content somewhere else, leave a few servers, and just give up. Um, I've debated leaving BAO weekly. You guys tell me I don't belong here. So often when I wake up in the morning, I think, maybe I should, don't belong here. Maybe I should go somewhere else. I don't know. Put in the comments, should Cyber leave the community or stay? Do you think my 250 guides and the stuff I've done for the community is worth it? That maybe it's worth it just enough that you shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Uh, at every stage, all I've done <clears throat> in response to this hate is said, please, please, leave me alone. Please stop harassing me. Please stop abusing me. Just leave Cyberax alone. If you don't like my content, don't comment. Block me. Please, for the love of God, block me. Don't see my content. But coming to my content week after week, content <clears throat> and day after day, to tell me that I don't belong in your community is wrong. And it makes you a bad person. If you do this and you continue to do it after someone pleads with you, pleads with you, Please, you make this 
the worst part of the community and any game development? You do. The community is the worst part of Minecraft development. Think about that. It's a pixel art game with a game engine that can do lots of things, including polymesh. Did you know that Bedrock natively supports polymeshes? It's built into the game engine. And yet, you, well, because of your comments, nobody uses it because we're scared to. We're scared of you. What does it take? What kind of actions does it take to make adults and people throughout the world that just want to make indie games <clears throat> afraid of a community? How much abuse does it take to be afraid of the community that you're in? I'm not afraid to post an Unreal Engine. I could post anything there. I could post pixel art. That community doesn't mind, and they're many times larger than this community. Their servers are hundreds of thousands of people. Never once in eight months did I see a cursed or hate comment because of what I did. And that really opened up my eyes that this is not a ha-ha thing. This is not a, oh, it's okay thing. This is a cult, and it's wrong, and it's abusive, and it's offensive. I have personally been told to stop making guides, even though they help people, because I make them with HD content. And new creators come in and watch my guides, see the HD content, and then think it's okay to make stuff like I make it. So I need to stop making guides and making content because it's affecting Minecraft and what creators think they can do in Minecraft. Because the only thing that's allowed in Minecraft is pixel art and voxel. And if you do anything else, you're not welcome here. That's what I've been told by prominent people in the community, not once, but multiple times. To stop making my guides that help hundreds of thousands of creators because it has HD in it. Beyond my wildest dreams, when I started to play Minecraft and wanted to add some stuff into the game engine for my friends to play, I never once thought, man, this is going to be a lot of hate. It's going to be a lot of real mean comments. I bet people are going to come to my content every day and tell me how cursed it is and how I don't belong here. Die. Just leave. Just die. I just down downvote that video so no one else sees it. So if you are joining the Minecraft community or are thinking about doing HD or AI, you need to know that this community is sick. This community is not healthy. It's full of bigots and hateful people and cultists. And you will experience it and you will see it. And you will feel it. And some days you will cry over it. And most people will say, Neh, just ignore it. And those are the people that haven't ever experienced it. They're typically the people dishing it out and think, eh, it's just funny. Yeah, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. <laughs> It'll look like I'm laughing. It'll look like I think it's funny after four years. I don't think it's funny. It's hurtful. It's harmful. It's a cancer. And it's toxic. And if you're doing it, you're part of that cancer. And if you do it when people tell you to stop and plead with you to stop, then you are a hateful bigot. And calling you that is not politically charged. We're not even in politics. Calling you that is factual 
based on your actions. No politics. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care who you are. If you come to my content that I create and you call it cursed or you call it trash, whatever you emotionally act out because you don't think it belongs in Minecraft, you are a bigot. Now, what do you do about that? I would suggest you ask Jesus for forgiveness. Then I'd suggest you ask those people that you said those comments to and ignored their pleas that you stop harassing them for forgiveness. And then I'd acknowledge that you are a hateful bigot and I'd get counseling and I would talk to other people about it and I would acknowledge that you have an emotional response to people putting content in Minecraft. I think once you say that, you see how absurd it is. <clears throat> now, I have an emotional reaction after four years of you saying horrible mean things to me. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty reasonable. I think if you told your sister day after day that her art was trash, probably within a few days she would have an emotional response. If not one or two. If I was your dad and I came and told you that your Minecraft art was trash day after day after day after day after day and it was cursed junk, I bet you would have an emotional response to it. I've often thought about it. Maybe I just take these people that do this to me and I just spend my good hard life doing it to them. And I come to all your posts and I say, man, pixel art. Mm, that's trash. That's 80 years old. I mean, we had pixel art in the 80s and this doesn't look anywhere close to as good as it did then. Oh my gosh, this is garbage. <clears throat> I could do that. If you really want to have a HD versus uh, AI versus pixel art versus Java versus Bitrock, I've got time. I could follow you around and be just as hateful and just as cultist and just as bigoted as you are. But that wouldn't be a good use of my time. It would make me a bigot and a hateful person. And I wouldn't really like myself very much after doing something like that. Do you like yourself? Maybe it's time for a change. Like I said, I put this video off for four years and I deal with this most mornings. Most mornings I get up and I think, I hope there's a good comment today. I hope there aren't a lot of bad comments. I don't know, I'm sick a lot and it's hard to get out of bed and the last thing I want to do is get out of bed and read that what I made yesterday is curse and I should get the fuck out of here. Would you? Is it even friendly? It's not even friendly. Uh, I mean... I, I don't know. Please. Explain to me mods. Explain to me Microsoft. Explain to me Mojang staff. How is this healthy or acceptable for your demographic? How is it acceptable or healthy for the Minecraft creators and marketplace? So, once again, please, I plead. Listen to my words and my emotions and my feelings and my heart. I have a soul. I'm a human. I'm not an AI. I'm not soulless. I'm making art with my own hands and my own brain. I plead with you. Please. Please stop the hate. Stop the comments. Stop the curses. They're not funny. Nobody's laughing. I hate to do this video. I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. I'm sure YouTube will derank and just bash my channel for this. I This will probably be the end of my company. I doubt I will ever recover um, from 
the cultists and the mob taking me out after this. It won't stop. It won't get better. It, it'll just get worse. So, if tomorrow you don't see cyber acts in the community, you know why. If this is the last video I've done, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and it's been, you know, a joy making content and making guides for you guys. It hasn't been a joy getting your feedback. Um, so, that's my feedback to you.